Hi guys, this is Ben from Pax Power here in Houston, Texas with another really cool truck that I'm excited to share. We bounce between a couple of mottos here at Pax Power, one of which being we build the trucks that the OEMs don't. In this case, it's a V8 supercharged Raptor. This truck started as a 2020 Lariat with a V8 5.0 engine and the 10-speed transmission. We then added the 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger system in stage two form to get 750 horsepower. The other motto that we bounce back and forth is, if you can dream it, we can build it. Well, this truck really exemplifies both mottos in that the customer came to us with a need and an idea and let us run with it and build something really cool. The owner here has a construction company, has had flatbeds for years, uh, often of the Super Duty F350, F450 variety. And any of those of you who have owned those trucks know how they ride, know how they are to live with on a daily basis. But he wanted something that's able to get out to job sites, be comfortable, be fast, be fun, and still do work when needed. And so we worked with him to come up with what his needs are. In this case, it was a fuel tank and some air compressors and other tools that go on the back and uh, built a truck that's specific for him. So we're gonna work our way uh, around the back as to where that's where most of the business is and we'll cover that. Now that we're at the back of the truck, you'll notice a few things. The first of which is the stance of this and the shape of the body. Obviously that's what makes a Raptor a Raptor. The flared body panels that are about three and a half inch wider than stock and you can see that we are using those on this truck. Also the Raptor suspension. Our Raptor suspension conversion is all OEM parts, upper lower control arms, Raptor shocks with internal bypass technology, the longer brake lines, the longer axles. In the rear we have the Raptor leaf springs, all the perches, the rear shocks of course, and that's what allows this Raptor to go off-road, have the excellent on-road ride capability, and uh, just be a great all-around truck. But the thing that most Raptor owners know is that these trucks don't do work. Uh, with the very light leaf spring package that Ford specs, it provides a good ride, but they won't haul anything. Additionally, the five and a half foot bed is of limited usefulness for a lot of people. So we address that with this customer. We'd always like the flatbed style, um, but wanted a V8 Raptor. So we built that, tried to take that Raptor attitude, style, and bring it into the flatbed that also incorporates a lot of functionality. So you'll see that we've flared the flatbed, uh, which is a total custom build. We've built custom bodywork to mimic that of the front end and give it that flare so that it sits outside of the uh, wider Raptor axle and uh, widened rear track. We have a legitimate load floor here that is able to handle pallets and you see the max track system here. When we originally built this, it was specific for this customer, but since then we've really come up with some cool uses that we may be able to do with these flatbeds. This one's configured for a 90 gallon fuel tank, uh, but a future one could be configured for a welder, or I could envision some snowmobiles going up on one of these, uh, or maybe even a flatbed camper. And all of those things that I just listed are obviously very heavy, which is something that a Raptor doesn't deal well with. So to deal with that, we put a, what we're calling our mid-travel airbag system on there. It's a set of 5,000 pound airbag springs, but it is not connected at the bottom of the bag and still allows full droop travel. It also is able to, with using its integrated bump stop, provide almost full up travel. So you may give up an inch or two of up travel, but for most situations, you're not gonna necessarily need that, and you still get the great ride quality. But if you are a, needing to carry something heavy, like one of those things I mentioned, you just use your onboard compressor, add air, and you're off and you're able to do that activity or haul that load or do that job. As we conclude this build, I just want to walk around and show some of the personal details that we incorporated on this, but that could be changed for different owners, different styles. So in this case, we finished this off in the pearl white tri-coat that is on the front half of the truck. Around the rear, we built this custom bumper that mimics the Fab Four bumper on the front in style, but we used it to house our burst sensors, 
our uh, trailer hitch here. We brought in our camera. The lights here are will blink in succession like a Mustang. We have the marker lights. These are your blind spot sensors over here. So we're able to retain a lot of the features that came on this fully loaded Lariat and then make it what the owner wanted. Notice here we have the rigid seam lights flush mounted and pointing backwards. That's so he can do work at night and, and aid in backing up. As you look at the top, you'll see the 40 inch light bar, the two seam lights on the side, and all of those are controlled by the OEM Raptor overhead console that we retrofitted into this Lariat to control the six different circuits of power, such as the compressor and the lighting. And then kind of the final thing is amp power steps for dual motors. This customer lives up in the Pacific Northwest, so maybe dealing with mud or snow, so the dual, mo uh, the dual motor amp research steps are really good for that. And then in the rear, uh, we have a fully custom stereo system that's backlit, 1,000 watts, two 12-inch speakers, the Raptor logo, backlighting, uh, just to finish out the package and make it exactly what the owner wants. So if something about this interests you, uh, please reach out to us. Uh, we love talking to customers and what crazy builds and ideas they may have. So for more information, just reach out to us at PaxPower.com and have a great day. Thanks.